President Donald Trump said the United States is halting funding to the World Health Organization, and one reason he cited is that the organization is favoring China at the expense of America. Here's what he said on Wednesday at the White House. I feel very badly about the World Health Organization, but it's been a tool of China. It's been, as I say, totally China-centric, and it's like they control. This group. So, is the WHO controlled by China? Well, if you look at the organization's leadership, the 21 most senior members represent 19 different countries, and half are actually from the U.S., Europe, or Canada, and only one is from China. To be honest, it's even insulting to look at that way to politicize staff members' backgrounds. After all, they're doctors, epidemiologists, aid workers, and public health experts by training or through practice with decades of experience. Even so, some folks still have the impression that China somehow has bought its way into the WHO. Well, China gave the third largest amount of membership fees in 2018 through 2019, below the U.S. and Japan. But according to the WHO, membership fees now only account for less than a quarter of the organization's total financing. The rest comes from voluntary contributions, with the highest donors being the United States, the United Nations, South Korea, Australia. Gates Foundation, Japan, Javi Alliance, National Philanthropic Trust, the United Kingdom, New Zealand, Bloomberg, and the European Commission. When the two funding sources are combined, China was just the sixth largest state funder and ranked even lower if you add corporations and non-government organizations. Another accusation by President Trump against the WHO was that it is following China's narrative on the coronavirus and didn't do enough to stop it. But with all due respect, Mr. President. You yourself followed China's narrative just a few months ago when you praised China at least 15 times for its handling of the coronavirus outbreak, including this tweet where you said the U.S. greatly appreciates China's efforts and transparency. And on February the 10th, you even said, I mean, "Well, I think China is very, you know, professionally run in the sense that they have everything under control. I really believe they are going to have it under control fairly soon." Why blame the WHO now for following the same narrative you yourself endorsed? At a time when your administration failed badly to contain the outbreak in your own borders, it makes many wonder if this is yet another instance of the White House employing the old political strategy to deflect, deny, and direct blame to others for its own problems and failures.